What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, The Real ABD. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, The Real ABD. Hey, guys. How you doing? It's me. What's happening, everyone? It's your boy, The Real ABD. Today, we're gonna go through a quick tutorial that I made. It's a 30 minute edit that I shrunk down to 10 minutes on how to do a background swap. You know, sometimes you take a picture, you just don't like what's happening in the background or where you took it. Well, in my case, I shot this 458 Ferrari. Uh, it's an extremely clean car. It was one of the cleanest Ferraris I've ever seen. It had like 4,000 kilometers on it, right? So it's a brand spanking new. Um, I shot it, it was in a McDonald's Plaza. Came home, pulled it up, didn't like it, so I'm like, all right then, let's do a background swap. Might as well record and show you guys how I go through it and show you some of my workflow and some of my techniques. All right guys, so let's hop right into it. Uh, let me pull up the file quickly in Photoshop. And right away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and use the pen tool and quickly go around the car. Now, I'm doing this very quickly. I'm gonna speed it up uh, just for the sake of showing you guys how to do it. Take your time with it. Um, this is a very crucial part because sometimes you won't get it right and then next thing you know, when you pull it back into Lightroom or you're doing some final touches, you'll find a couple of things you don't like. Um, once we make a selection, I'm gonna add a slight feather to it. And there you have it, you're gonna copy and paste it and that's what you have. I've already picked out a Toronto backdrop. I used this before when I shot the two McLaren 720s. Um, so what you do now is you just kind of align it with the horizon uh, where you feel it's right. Um, I'm going to blow it up. I'm not going to let it cover the whole image because this is a picture I'm only making for Instagram. So once you have it positioned, you know, drop it there and that's what you have left. Um, it's already coming along pretty good. Uh, so what I do next is I use a combination of uh, stamping and spot healing brush to quickly get rid of all the parking spots and any reflections that I don't like. Just gonna speed this part up for you guys. So like I said, I'm only doing this uh, for the video, so I'm not really doing a good job. I'm just kind of blitzing through it just to get it done in time. <laughs> All right, so just take out some reflections, get some of these last minute touches. So the next step, I'm just gonna pull up our Ferrari picture, uh, the original picture that we copied. I'm gonna basically pull it into our raw camera filter. I'm just gonna bump up the clarity real quick, uh, drop the highlights just to give it a more nighty feel, pull out the shadows, drop the blacks, and add a little bit of contrast. I am going to add a blue tint to it because I know my Toronto backdrop has a blue tint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the yellows a bit. I know it's going to affect the brakes and it's going to affect the logo, but just, just slightly. And that's pretty much it. Just a couple of touch-ups here. right okay guys so um, LUTs I use LUTs a lot like I, I apply LUTs to all of my things they just they can change an image just by a click of a button and then I always tweak them but there are a couple of LUTs that have a really cool blue feel to them and one of them being Moonlight Moonlight is a really really excellent LUT especially if you're shooting at nighttime just makes it so as you can see 
Alright, I'm gonna turn it down. It is it is slightly darker than what I'd like. So the backdrop was a bit too sharp. So I'm gonna add a slight Gaussian blur to it just to just to have a more realistic feel. It was a bit too crisp for my liking. Alright, so next up, um, this is just for the sake of perfecting this image, I'm gonna add a mask to our Ferrari layer and then I'm just gonna speed this up for you, but I'm gonna soften the edges a bit, just felt like it was a bit too hard and um, it didn't blend in as well and there's water in the Toronto backdrop, kind of wanted the lights to show. Then I'm gonna apply a, a brightness contrast. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down, but I'm gonna uh, mask out the Ferrari, right? And I'm just I'm just roughly doing this uh, just to show you the workflow, right? I would definitely take my time with this one. But once I've masked out the Ferrari, so it makes the Ferrari stand out a bit more. And obviously you can always go back and play around with this. So the next thing, uh, this is one of my favorite LUTs, uh, film stock. Amazing, instant cinematic look, instant. But you can't bump it up too much. It does, it gets dark real quick. But if you if you find the sweet spot, it makes your images look amazing. So this was just like by a click of a button, you're already looking nice and shiny. Now another thing that I noticed was that uh, the window still had the original backdrop showing through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pen tool. Uh, we're gonna basically go around quickly, select it, outline it, and then mask it out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another layer and just kind of give it a nice dark black tint. Just using a paintbrush. It's cool. So now uh, I'm gonna pull it back up into Lightroom. And I already created um, a preset for this picture. I uh, just, I wanted to go with a nice green um, feel to it, like a very midnight club feel to it. I pulled out the shadows on this and I used uh, the curves, curves adjustment. And um, that was it, you guys. And I'm just gonna crop it out. Like I said, it's just for Insta. So we're gonna do a four by five crop. I'm gonna adjust it where I like it. I'm just gonna apply a darker gradient to the edges. So I'm just gonna quickly pull up the before and after here for you guys, just to show you um, what the original image looked like and then what we ended up with. Now I know this is very time consuming. This entire edit took me about 30 minutes and I just kind of shrunk it down into like, like nine, 10 minutes. But uh, thank you very much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you at the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do give me your full feedback. If there's anything I can change that'll make these videos better, I'd love to hear it. Peace.